What's up, guys? We got Brian Colby and the legendary Ming Chen from Comic Book Men here, uh, hanging out at Pensacon on uh, day two. Uh, Ming, I know you've been here a couple times before. What do you think about Pensacon? Uh, I love it. I know cons are just kind of coming back, and this this is kind of the one true test. This is one of the bigger conventions, and I, you know, I I would have come here regardless. You know, I'm vaccinated, and and uh, I don't mind being around other. Actually, I miss being around other people. But I think what this is going to do is that other conventions are going to see this. Like, okay, it worked. Let's 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 move forward. Let's get back to normal. Let's party again. And uh, I think it's going great. I'm just glad to be back with other people, though, man. I'm glad to see you know my old friends. You know, you mm -hmm. guys, of course. And um, you know, yeah, it's just I, 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 like I always want to shed tears. I'm so happy. Yeah. Like, you know, every day of being locked, we were cooped up. We were locked up. I was talking to people in little squares like this. And all I wanted to do was this. All I wanted to do is this. And I was like, you know, and I was, you know, will we get back to this? Will this ever happen again? Mm -hmm. I, I, there were doubts. Like maybe, yeah, you know, we yeah. have to, you know, we have to put plastic everywhere and wrap everyone in bubbles. Is that the only way we're going to make it happen? <laughs> but, Bubble boy. When we were sitting down in the, in the uh, stands, we talked earlier about how it was just great to just be out and be social again and just see people and not have to, like, like you said, talk to them through Zoom or, you know, whatever. So um, it's great to see you, man. I know you, you've been to... What, several Pentacons now, right? Yeah, yeah. Th uh, this is my second one, okay. but you know, ever, ever since that first one, so all I want to do is get back here. Yeah, and, we love uh, here. It's yeah. Awesome. And I, you know, and I was. Uh, we were booked, uh, you know, earlier last year. We had to postpone, or not, you know, earlier this year had to right. postpone it. But, but, but here I am, and I just, uh, just got to pinch myself, man. Pentacon is happening, and, and everybody's here. And, uh, and, and may it may continue forever. Right. Well, I know uh, you started the Shared Universe podcast stuff, uh, what, about a year ago now? Uh, we've been three years. So three years. what I did was, uh, if you watch Comic Book Men or uh, I, I, if you know anything about Kevin Smith, uh, we're all about podcasting now. We mm -hmm. love podcasts. So a couple, few years back, we were like, why don't we just open up like a studio or a classroom? Because mm -hmm. we wanted to share the love of podcasting with other people. And um, so... You know, with with we had some knowledge, but I didn't know anything about opening a business or anything like right. that. But like anything else, you just do it and you figure it out later. And uh, that's what we did. We rented some cheap office space, and we had all our podcast gear already, and uh, set up a system. Was like, hey, if you want a podcast, we'll come teach you. We'll teach a class, or you can just come and record every week. And we we're like, is anyone going to use this? Like, what if no one uses it? It's like, well, if no one uses it, at least we have our own studio to record yeah. out. The very least, it's like, okay, let's give it a shot. And lo and behold, people started coming, and people started podcasting, starting shows, uh, getting getting as excited as we did about it. And that's when I thought, I was like, well, this is a, this is this is good. This might work. This might work out. So yeah. But you know, like the content creation, man, like it's something that anybody can do. Some people don't want to worry about the gear and all that. Like we take care of all that for you. So. Right. And I was gonna say, um, you yeah, know, comic book man is part of the inspiration for why I was interested in doing this to begin with. So without you guys pioneering some of that stuff, I wouldn't be standing here talking to you probably. So that's pretty big deal to me at least. Um, if people are interested in the shared universe, where where can they go look it up and find it? Uh, the website is uh, it's called a shared universe. So it's uh, a shared universe dot com. Uh, at a shared universe on all social media. So even you know we're based in New Jersey, the physical studios. Mm -hmm. But even if you're not there, we can still teach you online how to how to start podcasting, how to record. Um, if you have a podcast, we can help you become better, grow your audience, or you know basically I just pass on my 11 years of mm -hmm. doing this, so you don't have to make the same stupid mistakes that I did. Save you a lot of time. <laughs> And, and plus, you know, if you want me on your show or me or Mike Zapsik, uh, who's a partner in the business, uh, we'll come on your podcast. Like, like anything to do with podcasting, we want to be involved. So, uh, and we want to help you guys out. Yeah. No, heck yeah, I appreciate it. Um, I, I try to ask everyone this when I go to a con, but like, I, obviously you're a guest at many conventions. You do it all the time. Do you still like get excited when you're going to a con to see, you know, celebrities and guests you've never met before? And was there anyone you were super excited about this year at Pensacon? Oh yeah, totally. I think if anything, people ask me all the time, I was like, yeah, are you still a fan? Like, do you still yeah. a fanboy? I'm like, I'm more of a fanboy now than I was before. Because now, I, like, I could, you know, that usually they, they have like a area, like a green room where everybody eats lunch or whatever, and. Yeah, you, you go to one of their, all right, there's Mark Hamill, he's, he's eating with Billy D. Williams, and there's, you know, there's like Adam, or not, uh, Burt Ward is sitting with him chatting, and Nichelle Nichols, it's truly, 
It's like this nerd fever dream coming true, like where all your That's favorite to people that. from your childhood are like eating lunch together or just hanging out or drinking coffee or whatever. Yeah, it's great. I, yeah, I still fanboy out. So, um, anywhere from the Star Wars universe. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. That's, I'm that's fanboying out. where we're big, too. Yeah, and the first one. Yeah. yeah, and you know, some of these cons get like some huge guests now. This Back in the day, like if you were at a Comic Con, like your career was probably toast at that point. You were, you know, that, it, it, you, yeah, they're just, you're washed up. You're considered right. washed up. But now, you're like, you're not cool unless you're at a con. If you were getting invited to a con, you're doing something right with your career. And I, to me, you know, I, I like being here, but I really love meeting the people. To me, it's just easy PR, you know, like, you know, it's easy, you know, you're meeting people. That's, it's, that's in, the fun. In, in a world where we're doing this all the time and text to meet someone face to face, it's almost a rarity now. So yeah, I, lo I love it. I love doing it. And that's, that's like the most memorable part of a con for me is having that conversation with somebody. Yeah. Like having the autographs cool, the photo ops yeah. cool, but sitting and talking to someone for a couple minutes is like, that's something you'll never forget. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I always tell a story. Like I, I mean, I talked with Chris Hemsworth for five solid minutes with Thor about mm -hmm. kicking dudes in the nuts. Like it's a real conversation. That we had, and uh, yeah, it was great. It was, yeah. Like I always remember that. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, yeah, I appreciate you spending a couple of minutes with us. Uh, you're the man. Well, I love you um, guys. We go way back, man. Yeah, we do go way back. We've had, we've got some crazy stories. Oh, yeah, yeah. Appendix ruptures and sure. Whataburger. Whataburger, Whataburger, all kinds yep, of stuff. Yep. Um, That's right. Yep, I'm the Whataburger guy. You got any uh, new projects or anything you want to share with anybody? Uh, I, the podcast studio has been taking up a lot of time, and, uh, and I'm actually going to have to figure it out with the conventions firing back up. You know, I, you know the podcasts don't stop just because I leave. You know, I'm going to have to, you know, yeah. I, you know yeah, I, I have a couple of engineers on staff. They're amazing. Uh, you know, shout out to Chris and Christian. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to figure all this out. But that's podcasts and uh, comic cons. You know, that's what I get to do for the rest of my life. You're a pretty lucky guy. So. Yeah, that's not a bad life. Yeah. Well, thanks again, Ming. Uh, Thank you, always. Everyone go check out the Shared Universe and, uh, you know, like and subscribe to all their stuff. And have a good rest of your con, Ming. Thank you. Thank you guys so much.